By the age of five, your child's brain will have grown to 90% of its adult size. But even earlier than that, by age three, it's already reached 82% of its size. That's why First Five California and my next guest, George Halverson, chair of the First Five California Children and Families Commission, want to tell you why it's so important to read, talk, and sing to your baby. Welcome, George. And I also want to welcome, I mean, if you can't hear her already, we have a couple other guests in the studio, Ayana Wilkerson and her dad, Ricky, and uh, Kanekoa, and uh, let me check his name, Vales, right? And Francesca, his mom, and uh, Kanekoa is seven months old, and Ayana is 16 months. And they're just gonna sit there and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, how the interesting facts about children's brain development, right? Yes. And yep. basically, the, one of the fascinating things that we talked about before was how everyone's brain, when they're born, starts out exactly the same, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, and that it's really the stimulation and development of your brain that determines how well your brain will function. Yes, if you exercise the brain mm -hmm. in the first three years by reading, talking, singing to your child, if you exercise the brain, the brain grows much stronger. And it's even bigger. You can see a measurable difference in the size of the brain of a three-year-old who's been read to, talked to, and interacted with, and a child who has been left alone and ignored. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a difference in brain size. So what we really, in those first three years are when almost all of that growth happens. Right. And millions of neuron connections happen when you exercise the child's brain. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really important. And, to, and we're just, and we're talking years. about, like we were just talked about. Exactly. It's, it's from day one. It's from day right? one. It's and even before, one. a lot of people listen to music. They put earphones on their, their stomachs when they're pregnant, things like that. But and really the children, that, actually from day one, read, talk, and sing to your child. And the children are actually hearing before that. Mm -hmm. Children at a week old can tell the difference between their language and the language, a new language. But the, the growth starts as soon as the babies are born. Some people think you should wait until kindergarten, and that's actually too late. You right. really need to exercise a brain in those first couple of years. And the children who get the brain exercise are, they have bigger vocabularies, their brains work better, and it's a different world. And it's not just about talking at them. Right, I mean, just like right. scolding them or telling them what to go and go and yeah, uh, go, you know, do this or do that. It's about actually interacting. Yeah, scolding them. isn't isn't wonderful. But <laughs> what is really what's wonderful uh -huh. is asking questions and interacting. And when you if you read your child thirty minutes a day, mm -hmm. and if you ask twenty questions and have an interaction with your child around twenty questions, you can actually cut the number of kids who drop out of school by half. Amazing. So give me an example, sir. If we look at the two kids that we have here, we have a seven month old baby. Yep. I mean, what kind of things should, should moms and dads be doing with a seven month old? They should be talking to the child constantly. They should be reading to the child. They should have favorite books already. They should be interacting on a regular basis and, and, and not ignoring the child. Mm -hmm. And the, the children who end up being ignored and not interacted with mm -hmm. actually get toxic stress syndrome in the brain. The, the brain chemistry actually changes on those children. So cho you can measure it. And, and so the children who do not have interaction uh -huh. go down a toxic path. And the children who have interaction are much more contented, they're happier, they're healthier, and they're better thinkers. They have stronger brains. Well, what about a 16-month-old like Ayana, who's, you know, obviously, obviously she's, she's very much more active. Is there, yes. are there more things that you should be doing with her than? Uh, again, constant interaction, talking to the, mm -hmm. I, I was watching her in the back room and, yeah. and she's just a lovely little child. And, and she's interacting, she's asking questions, she's pointing to things. Mm -hmm. uh, they asked to find things in her little map sack and she sorted through and found it. And she's clearly interacting with her parents mm -hmm. in really important ways. And, and that's what you need. You need to interact constantly so the child is aware. And then the children desperately need that. Emotionally, they need that kind of interaction with an adult. And there's that whole thing that uh, in part, the importance of talk, read, sing, yes. right? So it's not just talking. It's not you just talking. You could be singing, you could be. You can be singing. Singing is really important. And, and the children's musical ability can be significantly enhanced by giving exposure to good music early. Right. So that is true, in fact. Good exposure to good music early makes a difference. 
But interacting, talking, asking questions, saying, what about this? What color is that? Mm -hmm. Can you find the round thing? Where, where is your purse? I mean, any of the kinds of things where the, the child has to respond and interact. Mm -hmm. And there's a magical give and take that happens when there's a, they, they actually call it volley and serve, but when you send the volley out to the child, the child responds. Mm -hmm. You can measure the brain waves. They have machines that measure the brain waves, and the brains light up at that point. Um, and neurons, it's amazing, and neurons connect at that point. So let's talk about a couple myths. Yeah. Because a lot of people, when they're first time moms and dads, they say, oh, I gotta get the fancy toys, I gotta get the Mozart CDs, I no. gotta get, you know, everything that's expensive no. and shiny. What do you say to that? You, you don't need those. <laughs> if you happen to have them, that, that's fun. Uh -huh. But what you really need are books, and you need talking, and you can pick up something, you can talk about a cup. Uh -huh. you can, the, the, the whole world is magic to a child, everything's new. Right. So you don't need something really fancy, you can talk about a cup, you can talk about a spoon, you can talk about the table, you can talk about scarves, you can talk about clothing. Mm -hmm. um, children love talking about clothing. There's all kinds of things you interact with, and so you don't need to buy fancy things. So a lot of, I think we've already talked about this, about you know how a lot of people say, well, I'm not gonna worry about my kids uh, talking to them and singing to them until they go to kindergarten, because they don't really understand what's going on until then anyway. Yeah, that's way, that? that, that's way too late. That's way too late. The, the, the number one indicator for who is going to drop out of school, who's gonna be in prison, yeah. is the number of words in the vocabulary at kindergarten. So the kids who don't have a vocabulary by kindergarten mm -hmm. are already on a bad path. I see. And so you need to interact before kindergarten. You need to, you need to have the children, the more words in a child's vocabulary, okay. the more likely they are to be good readers and do well. Well, speaking of reading, one of the things we wanted to bring up was, uh, it's, it's a book on yes. First 5 California that's downloadable, actually. So yes, it's downloadable and free. free. Yeah, it's called, it's Picnic Day Potter, and our two guests in our studio have a copy of it and they're gonna go home with that. But uh, basically it has some tips at the back of the book too, right? That uh, give you kind it, of a background on what we were just talking about. Exactly, it has tips on the back of the book about how you can exercise your child's brain. And you know one last thing I wanna ask you? Because it's in the first five commercial that I've seen. Yeah. It's parents who are using electronics and parents who use yes. electronics to give to their kids these days very early. In yep. fact, because the kids are able to do it. They're able to swipe and, and open up apps, right? Mm -hmm. What do you say to, to that kind and of interaction? If you're interacting with the child and the device, mm -hmm. and it's a joint thing, then that's better. Yes. But one of the things that they've shown is if a child is just sitting watching like a television, mm -hmm. the part of the brain that gets stimulated and grows doesn't grow. Oh, I see. The child is entertained, mm -hmm. but the brain doesn't get stronger. All right, well, Dr. Well, George, thank you so much for being here today and for sharing. And thank you, you guys, for being here. Yeah. yeah, there's tons of information about the importance of talking, reading, and singing to your little ones at first5california.com slash parents. They also have games and activities for infants to preschoolers. Again, log on to first5california.com slash parents or on social media, hashtag talk, read, sing. Coming up next, if these babies weren't cute enough for you, stick around, we've got a couple furry friends who are looking for a new home and a big pet adoption event you won't wanna miss. Stay right there, Bay Area people, we'll be right back.